Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Eternal Flames. My name is Blaze. So, if you've noticed, we got ourselves a very interesting little setup here, and I've been looking at some of the older tutorials, especially for, say, like Terra Firma Craft. For those of you who have played Minecraft, but not Terra Firma Craft, you have no idea the changes that are in store for you. Not only that, but Terra Firma Craft has got some pretty large changes as of recently, which will affect our new series and our new Let's Play. To better allow you guys to either A, follow along, or B, maybe jump in and survive and thrive on your own, here are a set of tutorials that I feel that you guys may enjoy to help you get along in the world. Keep in mind that these tutorials are for beginners or people who just haven't done that specific thing before. If you don't like this particular tutorial, feel free to skip ahead or maybe go back a couple steps. This particular message will be in front of all the tutorials and we heavily encourage you guys to watch them if you want the help. If you feel you want to learn on your own, by all means go try to, or maybe you just don't want to listen to me. In that case, go take a look at the wiki, which we have down in the description below. Hope you guys all enjoy, and I guess uh, we'll see you soon. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Eternal Flames. This is Blaze speaking. So if you guys notice behind me, I've got myself a lovely new little forge here, which we'll be doing our tutorials from. And I've also got this little building over here to kind of illustrate something a little bit later. But for the time being, let's actually go over some building blocks. Now, first things first, if you notice, my inventory is full of all kinds of stuff, and that's because I took my time and actually set this up so that you guys can see it. And yes, I'm in creative for this particular tutorial. Now... There are a couple blocks that don't work so well with gravity and don't work with certain things and other blocks that are very special and work with you. We're going to go over those as quickly as possible in the best way possible in hopes that this will help you build stuff in the future and we're going to go over literally the idea of what you might want to do just to start off. First off we got regular Gabriel. Now this is more or less raw stone. And you can find this throughout the world and pretty much any boulder or something like that can actually be broken up by essentially breaking off a piece by itself. Like that. Now, if you guys notice, now I've got that little piece right there that I can work with. And that's a thing. However, if you also notice that means that's going to be a bit harder to build with. And when you destroy it, you actually get stones. So keep that in mind. And yeah, it's the same kind of stones that you find right here laying on the ground as debris. Following up is cobblestone. Cobblestone is made with stones or gotten from cave when, well, basically it is a cave-in. What you want to do is more or less use this as flooring or as a base wall. If you notice, I've done that over here, but the reason why that is is because cobblestone is actually affected by, as you just saw, gravity. So that's something you want to keep in mind is... It's going to work similar to how dirt and sand do. And yeah, you heard me. Dirt and sand do the same exact thing. And you guys are going, dirt? Really? Yeah, really. Gravel will also act this way. So keep that in mind. And keep in mind it's very easy to bury yourself if you're not careful. So, that's a thing. Also, you can end up causing huge, huge landslides if you're not careful. Because grass will actually hold some dirt in place. So if you actually place it next to a grass block there's a better chance that it'll hold up. In this case, if we dig up this little area, the grass is keeping this from falling in this hole. However, that doesn't mean that if you place it here, it won't still fall. So, just something to be aware of and keep in mind for the future. Okay, so we've kind of gone over that. What other blocks are there and how can I utilize them? Over here we have lumber. Lumber is actually a block we'll go over how to make a little bit later, but if you notice, gravity is not affected. As long as you attach it to something, it will work perfectly fine. If you also notice over here, I've got several pieces of lumber lined up to make kind of a wall. Just keep in mind that this is something of a waste of resources and you want to be careful about doing that. After that, there's of course regular logs, which you get by cutting down trees, doors, wooden blo or plank blocks, which are created using lumber, uh, for lumber in a regular like crafting table fashion. You've got barrels, which will be your food and liquid storage in the beginning. And, you know, there are also chests out there. 
You've got Vince, Vince Gates. The recipes for these have changed ever so slightly. So let's grab barrel. Let's grab fence gate, door, and fences. And we'll go over those one at a time. Barrel. Fence gate. Door. And fence. If you notice, the fence recipe is a bit more expensive than it used to be. However, I think that this is a little bit more worth it because you get a, not only a better aesthetic, but you also kind of get a bit more of a feel out of it as well. It definitely feels more like a, well, fence. Okay, so aside from that, we've got these three specialty blocks over here. This is fire brick. These are bookshelves. And this is thatch. Thatch is made with straw. Bookshelves are made with plank blocks, six plank blocks, three um, books, and then you've got fire brick, which is a specialty recipe that we'll be going over in the future. I'm not going to go over it now, mostly because it's extremely expensive, and I want to grow with you guys. Hence why, if you guys actually look at my forge, it is actually completely empty. Minus a little bit of water and some burnt out torches, which I need to relight. Unless I want company. Also, doors. Boom. Okay. Now, you also notice there's another block over here. This right here is actually support beam. Now, what you can do with support beams is if you have more than one in your inventory, you can actually right click and it'll stack up to three. Now you can stack them higher by clicking on top of them. So keep that in mind. And if you have a gap in between them, just a one block gap, you can right click to place a cross beam. This is very important seeing as this is going to help you with mining later and I'm going to illustrate why here in just a second. Now going back to some of the stuff that we've had before, right? we talked about how cobblestone is affected by gravity. This is the one time that cobblestone will not be affected by gravity, so keep this in mind. Cobblestone can be put on top of a support beam and it will hold. If you notice my house or my uh, forge over here has a roof of cobblestone and it is actually being held up simply by these two support beams and one cross beam. Keep this in mind, it is very important when building because if you don't do this, it can be detrimental. They've also got a range of, I believe, up to eight blocks from the core. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, looks like it's got a five block range. So it's about four away from your main post. On the other hand, if we do more posts, one, two, three, four, and boom, we're still safe. So this is more or less your basic idea of how this is going to work. Keep that in mind. There you go. However, once again, there's always a catch-22. If you build too high, the cobblestone will fall. And let's actually make some danger here. If you build like this, you can crush your support beam and it will break. So keep that in mind in the future and especially while mining. Don't leave gaps where cobblestone can fall like that lest you break your support beams and then the entire castle come down around your head or cavern or wherever you are. Cobblestone is very dangerous here, and it's a very real thing, so keep that in mind. Okay, now since we finally went over all of that, and we went over how cobblestone is dangerous, gravel, dirt, sand are dangerous, um, what about like brick and smooth stone? Those things will actually not only defy gravity, but are the best building materials and most durable. They can even be held off by themselves as comparison to raw stone. So your go-to material when you get near end game should probably be your brick and your smooth. Aside from that, I would generally stick with wood because, well, wood is your oldest friend and your best friend. Um, to kind of illustrate what you might want to do in the beginning, you can go ahead and use some wooden logs, which are a little bit easier to work with, especially with axes, being so cheap and easy in early game. Since this is actually the case, this may very well be your dwelling to begin with, and, well, <laughs> hate to say it, but this is going to be the closest thing you're going to have to a hidey hole. Aside from that, your only other option is maybe 
maybe to go and do something like this where you try to dig out under some sand, but if you notice, even that doesn't work. Or not sand, dirt. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. But if you notice, even that's kind of a risk thing too, and this is clay sand on, or clay sand, clay dirt as well. And clay dirt holds a completely different property. Not only that, but it's only normally found near goldenrod, these particular flowers. So keep that in mind as well. Basic idea, use logs. Okay, that's going to be it for me now. I hope this tutorial has been somewhat helpful and we went over quite a few blocks. Not all of them. There are still plenty of blocks out there that we did not cover. But for building purposes and just a general idea of what you're going to be using and what you shouldn't use, this is pretty much covering it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If so, hit the like button and tell us what we did right. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button and hit the comment section. We actually want to know what we did wrong and we actually appreciate that input. Sometimes that really goes a long way. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up in the comment section. Maybe if your question is big enough, it might even show up as a tutorial. And we'll be sure to make sure that everybody knows that you asked so that they know. Aside from that, maybe you want to see more tutorials, hit the subscribe button. We really would appreciate that because we enjoy making this kind of stuff for you guys and frankly we enjoy having you guys here to watch us. That's been Blaze and it's been a pleasure seeing you guys. Hope to see you guys next time and just remember, cobblestone, sand, dirt, gravel, not what you want to work with. On the other hand, wood as well as brick and smooth stone, yes. Also, thatch, you walk through it. Ugh. That is not good protection. That's what my wife said. Later, everybody!